slippery slope. You've probably heard someone say that something was a slippery slope, meaning that it was a small step that would lead to more. You shouldn't smoke cannabis. It's a slippery slope that'll lead to heavy drug use. Your friend might be trying to give you advice. Perhaps you're explaining why you just brought home a box of donuts. I let myself have one cookie this morning, and the sugar was a slippery slope that led to these. Allowing small crimes to go unpunished is a slippery slope that leads to larger crimes going unpunished, the city's police chief might say at a press conference. As you can see, when someone describes something as a slippery slope, they believe that this small action will snowball and lead to bigger and bigger things of the same nature. Just as a snowball that starts out small at the top of a snow-covered hill will end up big once it gets to the bottom, it will snowball. Someone that steps onto a slippery slope will slip and slide all the way down. One small action may lead to a big outcome. The idiom slippery slope is usually used in a negative sense, but can be used positively, though it is rare. Though the concept of slippery slope is often used in logic and in law to explain how crime or bad behavior came about, it is often viewed as a logical fallacy. Because often, A doesn't necessarily lead to B. In everyday conversation, when people use slippery slope, they make assumptions and ignore the many factors that would have to take place in order for A to lead to B. The idiom slippery slope is found in writing as early as 1857 in Chambers' journal referring to luck and fortune as a slippery slope upon which one must fight their way up. The idea of a slippery slope and its usage as an idiom gained popularity in the everyday vernacular from around the late 1970s. In your own life, you might find many examples of the slippery slope in action. Suppose you decide to buy a box of cookies, despite your promise to yourself to eat healthily. You might soon find yourself introducing more and more junk food into your diet, as that first box of cookies got you used to eating such unhealthy things. Maybe you're feeling lazy one day and decide to skip your workout just this once. You might skip it again the next time and so on until you realize that you haven't exercised in six months. Obviously, not every small action is a slippery slope, but it is useful to be aware of the argument and to not let yourself slide down one. You shouldn't put things on your credit card that you can't pay off next month. It's a slippery slope that will get you into a lot of debt, your friend tries to warn you. Maybe you're at a friend's house and marvel at all the houseplants she has. 
I started off with just one plant that my mom gave me, and it's been a slippery slope ever since. Laziness is a slippery slope that'll lead to a life of regret. You've been warned. Your grandpa might be dishing out advice. So the next time you believe that one small action will lead to a bigger action, eventually culminating in a massive issue, don't forget to call it. A slippery slope.